So welcome to my first ad. Um, I'll try to make it short. So there's a group of people in my relatively small town that like to make films. Um, obviously in this day and age, it's much easier to make some sort of film than it used to be, you know, because you don't need film anymore, first of all, anymore. So, you know, you can use this type of shenanigans over here that I'm talking into right now, and it's a lot more less expensive, and it's great. But uh, back in November of 2013, this group of people, including myself, made a short horror film, and it was called Pity. And it was based off of a short piece of prose that was in the liner notes to a, a, an album from the early 2000s, I think. And uh, it's a story about a man and his worst possible day. It's, uh, it's, there's really only one actor, and the, everything pretty much takes place inside of a car. It's seven minutes long, and it is not particularly gory, but it's still quite unsettling, and it's very, very, very well done, in my opinion. It's great uh, cinematography, great lighting, the sound design, the score, everything is super amazingly awesome for what we had to work with and uh, you know the, the kind of budget such as it was. Now you may ask, well Adam, what did you have to do with the movie? Well I didn't have a lot to do directly with the movie. What my role was, was I was there to shoot the behind the scenes footage of the people and, and the cast and the crew and whatnot making the film. So for two and a half days, I was there with this very camera that I'm shooting this on, and I was shooting behind the scenes footage of the preliminary stuff, the actual shooting, uh, both locations, all that stuff. And it was really cool and I really enjoyed it. Shot a ton of footage. And then after the film was shot and the editing process started, then me and the director, John Pata, we started going around and interviewing the cast, mainly the one guy, and then the crew, and talking about the experience and getting all these interviews onto, you know, recording. And then, about early May of 2015, everything was all finished. The film had been out for a while. It had been on the um, movie circuit, the film festival circuit. But back in May, I started working on the behind the scenes movie featurette thing which is seriously at this point my magnum opus. It ends up being 75 minutes long. So it's the longest thing I've ever edited by probably 50 minutes. And uh, the reason I'm talking to you about all of this right now is because you can now get it on DVD and Blu-ray. So here's the movie, Pity. It's $10 on Blu-ray. It's six bucks on DVD if you're not into that whole Blu-ray thing. Uh, now you're saying to yourself, well, okay, but why would I watch this site on? Why would I buy this site unseen? Well, here's the trick: if you want to watch the film, you can watch it for free online. There's a link right down below. It's on Vimeo. If you go onto Vimeo and look for Head Trauma Productions, you'll find the video. It's called Pity. If you just search for Pity, you're probably not going to find it because it's a relatively well, you know, used word. But if you search for Head Trauma Productions, you'll find it on that channel on Vimeo. But again, link down below. So go watch the film, it's seven minutes long, and then come back. I'll wait. So, okay, so you've watched the film. Now you say, okay, now Adam, why would I buy it if I just watched the cow for free? Well, because a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, you get the, you know, the fancy Blu-ray you can watch on your television or whatever. You also get it in black and white, which is a completely different experience, and it's not available online. You also get a couple hundred, I think, photos, behind the scenes still photos taken by Dave Burke and Mary Manchester. They were the two on-site still photographers and they did some amazing work. So you get to see all of that stuff. Again, you don't get to see that stuff, you know, on, on, the, on the online. Uh, you also get two, two behind the scenes footage films. Number one is called On the Set. It's just simply called On the Set. And that is the footage that I shot over the Friday, the Saturday, and the Sunday. John Pata, the director of the film, took that footage and edited it together and made a 45-minute kind of montage. Kind of like you're just a fly on the wall there on the set and you're just watching stuff happen. So if you're into indie filmmaking, this is definitely for you. This is something you would really be interested in, in seeing how we did it. Um, then the other film is another one that I did. That I, It was, again, I shot it and then I shot all of the... Um, Almost all the interviews. There's a couple of interviews I didn't shoot because they were down in Chicago. But most of the interviews I shot, and then I directed and edited the whole damn just Shabbat. Ugh, 
just a thing. It, it took a long time. It was the longest thing I've ever edited in my life. It's called Short Road, no. Long Road for a Short Film is what it's called. The Making of Pity. I, it's my name, so I should know it. But um, you can go to Head Trauma Productions. Dot com and you will if you click on the store link it will take you to the place where you can buy this blu-ray or this DVD whichever you prefer and then you can watch this stuff like I said six bucks for the DVD ten bucks for the blu-ray where do you get a blu-ray for ten dollars that's not in the bargain bin like at Walmart not too many places so uh, if you're interested in independent horror if you're interested in independent filmmaking if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff if you're interested in seeing what happens to me when i have to edit something that long you're going to want to get this film you're going to want to get this package this dvd this blu-ray from head trauma productions um it's i think the film i was there obviously for the filming of the film but when i watch it i completely forget like the behind the scenes. I shot all the behind the scenes. I edited it for a month and a half. But I, when, I will, when I watch the film, I forget about how it was done and where it was done. And it just, to me, comes across as being truth. And it's really cool. So again, headtraumaproductions.com, link below. Go check it out if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, if not, sorry for the ad.